fear a God, fearing Filipino, and you are not into something which is destructive to your fellow men, you have absolutely nothing. I will die for you. Ako nandito, kasi natuwang-tuwa ako, nagtitingin ako sa kanina sa inyo sa prayer. Yung isa naman, grabe ang concentration. Sabi ko siguro, may yoga kayo dyan? O si Skira? Wala? Okay. Special Advisor for Sports, Mr. Dennis A. Uy, to introduce the guest of honor. Uh, mayang gabi sa atong tanan. It is an honor to introduce our distinguished guest, our teacher, our mentor, our leader, ang ating minamahal na Pangulo ng Pilipinas, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Just uh, kindly sit down. Thank you for the courtesy. Uh, meron tayong problema dito. I want to communicate to these guys here. The, the lady there in front of me, if you'd notice, is biting uh, her fingernails. And we have the same problem because I do that even today when I ponder over the things that I have to do for everybody. Alam mo, anak, alam mo bakit minsan nakikita ninyo ako nagagalit sa TV? Kasi yung mga bad people, <laughs> ayaw ko sila dito sa mundong ito. Kaya gusto ko silang mawala para walang gugulo sa buhay ninyo. At pag lumaki na kayo, kagaya ng mama mo, pati papa mo, ang buhay ninyo hindi masyado problema. May walang gunlo, walang mag-snatch, walang mag-kidnap, wala, walang lahat. Gusto ko yung mundo na para sa matino lang. Yung hindi matino, eh, magkakaroon tayo ng problema dyan. Magagalit talaga ako. Kami saan sabi ng iba, bad boy daw ako kasi sinasaktan ko daw yung mga taong masama. At uh, minsan sabi nila, Pinapadala ko sila sa heaven, mauna na sa atin. Kaya ganun. Kaya ako nandito, kasi natuwang-tuwa ako, nagtitingin ako sa kanina sa inyo sa prayer. Yung isa naman, grabe ang concentration. Sabi ko siguro, may yoga kayo dyan? Wala? Wala? Uh, nandito ako para sa inyo. The reason why I'm here is because I want to see you and just tell you something from my heart. Uh, I am a worker of government. Trabahante lang ako ng gobyerno at ang aking pinagsinumpaan sa bayan at sa Diyos eh, sabi ko na Uh, Panginoong Diyos at mga kababayan ko, Pilipino, uh, ako po'y isang trabahante lamang sa gobyerno. Ang aking pong trabaho is to protect the people at yung ating bayan to preserve it as the Philippines. Yan tinuturo ng teachers ninyo. Yan ang the long and short of my presence here at yung trabaho ko ayan maprotektahan kayo at ating society yung nakikita ninyo everything is working working functional at walang problema yan okay tapos na tayo 
Dito naman ako sa mga nanay, pati papa ninyo. Presidential Advisor Dennis Oy, Regional Director Alberto Escobarte. Pariho lang tayo, we are co-workers of government. Miss Rosa Charissa. Ganun pa lang ang Gavino. Si Chari, the President and School Director, Center for Brighter Beginnings, Teachers and Staff of the Center for Brighter Beginnings, mga kababayan ko. Today is a momentous event, an occasion for everyone to celebrate the triumphs and successes that you have attained. I join you in reflection and in remembering the challenges that you have surpassed and your students' achievement you have helped unlock. As a top preschool offering specialized in early childhood education in Davao City, the Center for Brighter Beginnings has contributed greatly to the formative years of alumni, many of whom are now playing significant roles as partners in nurturing communities and building lives. I congratulate you for a job well done. Sorry. Thank you for the continuing endeavor to ensure that our children get the best quality of learning that they need in order to become competent responsible and dignified citizens in the future. Indeed, you may have served as a pillar of education in our nation. May you remain steadfast in pursuing the country's development by investing in our youth. I also thank you for providing free trainings and other capacity building activities for public school and daycare centers Teachers in Davao City. Ayan ang pagmamalasakit sa kapwa-tao. Because, you know, life is never fair. And uh, not everybody is given a chance, financially and everything, to attain the kind of uh, standard that our children are getting. But somehow, baski na kunti lang, even a minute of that uh, passion, for teaching dito sa Dabao. Anong maano mo? Maibigay mo ba si Kunti? Malaking bagay na yan sa ating bayan. And uh, I would interrupt my speech when reading. I'd like to just to say something. I, 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 I told the children exactly what's in my heart. That's a compassion that I've learned uh, in the years that I have been in service in government. I, 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 you know, I've been in power, holding power, for almost 40 years. Uh, you are witnesses to what Davao now is, and uh, how we evolved from a community of uh, hate and despair to what we have achieved now. I could not have attained such objectives and my setup, because am I I? No, no, it's not that. It's because I had the, the almost the unlimited sympathy and understanding of the double venues. Had it been otherwise, I could not have survived the consequences of the things that I had to do because I had to do it. I had to somehow not really break the law or let me put it this way. When I was mayor, I told everybody, I'd be the prosecutor prosecuting criminal cases. And in my limited dimension I know deep in my heart 
how criminality and disorder would impact on the community. And so, with I said, this limited uh, psyche, I said to everybody then and still now, now we have to have order. And I was talking to the late CGV uh, Ayala Chito. And I told them, but he did not support me during the first election. Second time, okay na kami. So we had a, a good rapport. Sabi ko, sir, I will take care of, try to build a city. And uh, you take care of the community. I have little or none at all about economics, except the ones that I learned in high school and in college. But uh, I, I don't remember even, well, I just don't, I just don't like the subject, well, that's all. I get DC, titingin ako dyan sa mga statistics, tapos yung araw. And uh, for the life of me, bakit may debit sa, even sa law? Uh, debit pati credit. Sabi ko, bakit na lang ninyo? Ikwento mo na lang yung kinita itong araw na to, Tapos bukas yung ginastos mo. E minus po lang. Hindi nga division eh. Arithmetic mo lang yan. Bakit pa paiputan? Debit 500. Credit 500. Oh, natabla na tayo nito ngayon. Saan natin ito? I mean, those are the things that, uh, alam mo, uh, kasi, sa totoo lang, Mga anak, makinig kayo, ha? Ito sige reklamo. Sabi niya pa, bakit din mo sabihin dyan kay Briones na buti hindi nakikinig? Buti nga... Sabi niya, bakit habaan ninyo? Ang, tama naman yung, yung panahon ninyo. Sabi ko, anak, dahan-dahan ka magsalita. Kasi ang tatay mo, original K-12 talaga. Wala pa yan noon sa amin. K-12 na ako. Kasi tinapos ko. <laughs> Pakpak rin kayo. <laughs> Kasi tinapos ko yung high school ko. Seven years. Kaya K-12 ako. So maganda ang labas. Uh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs>